unbelievable. Welcome back. So South Africa is currently the 12th largest emitter of greenhouse gases in the world. To combat climate change, all of us have to play our part. But the question is, how exactly do we do that? Well, CBI Electric Executive Andrew Dixon joins us now to tell us how we as ordinary people can cut down on our power usage and how we can contribute towards fighting climate change. Andrew, a good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for speaking to us. You know, the more and more we talk about climate change, I think the more urgent the work becomes. And then there's a sense of powerlessness that a lot of us uh, may potentially feel when we start looking at the data moving forward in the years to come. Where do we still have some power? Afternoon, and lady. Thank you very much. So in our general habits on a day-to-day basis, we have the ability to change what we do to enable a better usage of our resources and therefore gain a better uh, delivery to going green. Mm. Well, let's talk a little bit about, uh, firstly, um, what it is that we can do within the home, perhaps. So let's go down to electricity, of course. Uh, how do we best use it? When do we best use it? Of course, Eskom is running their system. They've got a base load. When do we consume it is the question. And obviously, if we can remove that from the peaks and get into things like using our geysers during uh, low usage times, uh, not having our geysers and stoves on at the same time, when do we run our pool pumps, it's ideas like that, and how do we control that to get the best usage, but also not put pressure on the system, and therefore reduce, obviously, our requirements on the coal power fire stations. Mm. And then, of course, I think a lot of the work that we have to do, perhaps, as a country, is also just to really educate people on the carbon emissions. And I wonder if South Africans have a clear understanding of how they, in some of their communities, may be contributing. No, I don't think they do have an idea because traditionally we've just gone about our business and to get it down to the primary use of the household, we need to start an educating program when basically at our school levels. We need to get them to understand what and where the electricity comes from, where our water comes from, how those services are delivered and what we can do to conserve them to obviously aid the environment. Mm. Are we writing the right sort of policies in the country? Sorry, can you repeat that? Are we lady? writing the right sort sort of policies in the country to essentially police the carbon our carbon footprint? We're going in the right direction. Um, we can definitely see, particularly on energy usage, how the policies are being developed. But we're a long way off. Um, we've got a lot to to get right on the basic side first. Uh, but at the same time, while we're doing that, we can educate people about when to use electricity, how to use it effectively that we can maintain our li- our lifestyles but not put extreme pressure on our environment. Yeah, Andrew, thank you so much for speaking to us. Andrew uh, Dixon, the electric executive at CBI. Uh, well, we move on to other...